Hi guys, I'm Tim from Launch Presto Digital Marketing. And in today's video, and we're gonna be looking a little closer at when and where ads were shown in Google Ads. So why is it important to know this information when it comes to making adjustments in your Google Ads campaigns and or ads? Now, the reason is because you can use that data to be able to make fine tweaks or adjustments and optimizations around times of day and day of the week, locations, placements, and on which devices where your ads may be shown. And before I take you over to my screen to show you exactly where to go to find this data and the optimizations that you can make, feel free to download my top 10 tips guide for increasing your average order size for Shopify stores. Okay, and we're back over to my screen now in my test Google Ads account. And because I haven't been running ads for very long in this account, I've extended the date range up to the last 90 days. So I can give you a decent example on a big enough data set. So if you come over to the left-hand side here, we're already under overview, under campaigns. So if you're clicking the drop down under insights and reports, you see here just a little bit further down, it says when and where ads showed. So click this and instantly you'll come across to where the data is now being shown under these four separate tabs, when ads showed, where ads showed, devices and matched locations. So starting with when ads showed, we can see here the actual days ads showed up. We can actually expand that column out a little bit more. So you can see the days and hours, you can hover over here and you can break this down further by going to just the day. And we can see the campaigns here that and the days that they were running. You can even break this down further by selecting the actual campaign specifically, which we'll do for this instance. I'll select the test shopping campaign and we can see we've got clearer data for the days that actually the ads were shown. And then we can change this to the hour per day. And this goes within one hour ranges. And later on, I'll show you where you can make optimizations based on the day or the time of day and do some advanced bid adjustments. So hang around whilst I show you that a bit later. Next, we'll move on to where ads were showed. When it comes to where ads are showed, this works best for demand gen and or display campaigns because it'll give you a list of sites where banner ads or HTML ads have been shown. And you can see what sort of results you'll be getting on particular websites. From there, you can make adjustments as to whether you want your ads to be shown on these websites or mobile apps, et cetera, et cetera but I'll show you that in a later video. Moving on to devices, and we can see at the campaign level here, we can also change that filter to ad group. You might be able to apply both of them at once. Adds an additional column here for the particular level that you're looking for. You can get granular on this as well by changing to an individual campaign, should you wish. And do our ad group if you wanna go further. And we can see here where we can actually make bidding adjustments, either by increasing or decreasing by percentage amount. You might find that tablets, for example, aren't yielding any results at all. You don't want your ads to show there within this particular campaign and or ad group. You can select decrease by 100%. If you were to say 50%, if you had bids at around $10, they'll become $5. But we'll just say for this example, 100%. So no bids at all for tablets. And we can see here that under this campaign and ad group, it's now minus 100%. Moving on to match locations. We can see at the very top level here, we our ads are being shown in the United States. This is based on the location targeting you had set on your campaign. If you want to get more granular on the match locations, on that targeted location, you can click the actual match location itself and you'll see a pop-up on how you can narrow it down to either regions, districts, counties, municipalities, cities, postcodes, etc., etc. There's plenty there to choose from. We'll select cities for now. And as I'm a camping store, and depending on the data that you're receiving, if you have a large enough set, and costs associated with that. In my example, if I was getting enough data, I could be finding that the location of New York may not be profitable at all. And that could be because people in New York are too busy working or whatever is going on, or it's just a location that's not ideal for camping. You can take a look at the data, make an educated decision on what's best to do here. It could be getting sales, but it might be too expensive. So you may want to make a bid adjustment for that area. And the bid adjustment cannot be made in here. And I'll show you where to go to do that just in a moment. Before I take you over there, if you're seeking additional data, you can also use the segmentations. So then you can, on the locations, you can check out the time by in you know, the last week or quarter or day, if it was available. Your conversion actions, purchases or add to cart or begin checkout. The actual devices again, so you can see the location and the device and also network partners like search partners as well. You can also set up additional columns. If you wanted to add more conversion data, like the actual conversion value, for example, you can save that, just quickly apply. So circling back to the location bit adjustments. So if you come down on the left-hand side and come under audiences, keywords, and content, click the drop down under locations. 
You can then follow the same procedure of clicking now the targeted location and then click cities. And we can see here there's New York City right now. And then we select this location and click edit and then add targets and set bid adjustments. Let's just say our cost per conversion is double what's profitable for us. So we can actually make a decrease on the bidding in that specific location. So it may bring it back into a form of profitability. However, your ads may be less shown in those areas if you are making a significant decrease. So that's something to bear in mind. So for this example, I'm just going to set it at 60% and click apply. And we can see here that now New York has been set at minus 60%. And if we'll come back up to the top view here, we can see as well, United States is here and New York City has been set to minus 60%. And you can actually go and make more adjustments within this area as well. And lastly, onto as schedule on where you can actually make adjustments here. Let's just say, for example, Friday evenings are not a good day for people looking at shopping at all. Usually we can either click the blue pencil button here for schedule or here where it's stated as edit ad schedule. Click that. And here we can go about editing the schedule by adding a new schedule in so you can state Fridays, all day 12, 12, and then save that. Now it's automatically separated all the days out by just adding an extra day. You may wanna segment this again if you find it's just the evenings or the mornings, or you just don't wanna show ads at all in specific times, so you can go about doing that. I'll expand on all this in the, on how to use ad schedules in a future video. But just for today's exercise, I'm just going to put a decrease of 25% on Fridays because people are more thinking about chilling out over the weekend than actually making purchases for the most part of e-commerce stores. When you scroll up here, we can see if you were to hover over Friday here, we can see we got a bit adjustment all day of minus 25%. Okay, that's a quick rundown on when and where ads is shown, what you can do with that information and data to make the bid adjustments needed to optimize your campaigns and ads. If you'd like to know more about what we do here at Launch Press, we do provide Google Ads as a service. Check out the link below and reach out to us if you need help with anything. More than happy to give you a free audit. And if you're getting value out of these videos, please hit subscribe just down below. And with that said, thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next. Bye for now.